Well, we said the other day that a cabinet reshuffle is not going to take place soon, but uh, some series of events may suggest otherwise, Kuntun Sethi. Right. Uh, first of all, there are some news reports today say that Kun Taksin himself uh, doesn't want the government to wait too long. <laughs> and then, for a new cabinet. For a new cabinet. And then after that, um, whether it's true or not, uh -huh. and after that, uh, Kun Nopadon, his, uh, his personal aide, has mm -hmm. sent email to reporters today yep. Yep. Uh, saying that uh, don't write about Kun Taksin being behind all this. Uh -huh. It's so, not true. It's not true. Okay. So um, uh -huh. the fact that Kun uh, took all the trouble to uh, inform the reporter that Kun Taksin is not behind uh, it uh, means demanding cabinet reshuffle <laughs> make us really believe that something is going to happen. Quite well, well when he says soon. nothing happens, then it means something is going to happen. Right, and then he, he just said that Kun Taksin has nothing to do with what will happen in mm -hmm. in the future. Mm -hmm. So we believe that something will really happen in the near future. <laughs> you mean the cabinet reshuffle may take place sooner than uh, what we may, thought? May um, we? Uh, talk about this uh, yesterday, yes. and we said that we, uh, we 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 don't believe that uh, anything should happen uh, before May because mm -hmm. uh, at the time the banned politicians will mm -hmm. come back mm -hmm. uh, uh, to power to mm -hmm. they, they can play politics again, and then maybe Kun Jing Lak, uh, the prime minister, should wait until then. And that but is about May next year. Yes, that but may not be. That may be too long for. Right, all the indications. Uh, mm -hmm. well, today we can talk about why it may happen why? quite soon. Give me uh, one good reason. Well, uh, uh, first of all, uh, well, uh, Kun Nopadon, what Kun Nopadon said, <laughs> yes. give us the, uh, a good reason to believe that it might happen soon. And okay. then mm -hmm. we have a lot of activities uh, among mm -hmm. uh, uh, a lot of uh, cabinet, cabinet members. members yes. Yes. Uh, the we, communication minister was said to have problems with uh, his de two deputies. Right. One of his deputies, Kun uh, Chat Kun mm -hmm. he uh, reportedly had met, uh, has left the country, and uh, a lot of news reports said that he met with Kun Taksin to complain about mm -hmm. uh, his the boss. minister, his <laughs> boss, uh, not dedicating enough work for him to do. Wow. And when, uh -huh. when then a cabinet member says something like this, we can uh, we we can believe that he's uh, he he's feeling the heat. Oh wow! Well, he should have reported that to the prime minister, right? No, uh, mm -hmm. and and uh, he, this is a a source uh, a reporting, not uh, yes. he, him saying exactly. Right. But mm -hmm. but today there was this press conference by the communications minister with these two deputies, right? No, right. He said that no problem is taking place. They were shaking hands and said, you know, we are working perfectly well together, no conflict whatsoever. Only the press has its own imagination, and all the stories, all the rumors about the conflict was totally baseless. Right, and a similar thing is happening at the um, education ministry also. Oh. A deputy minister is complaining about the minister not mm -hmm. delegating enough work for mm -hmm. him to do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, the minister himself has not officially denied this yet, but yeah. the fact that two deputy ministers mm -hmm. have, are from different ministries have had to mm -hmm. defend themselves, make us believe that they are feeling the heat and <laughs> they might... Uh, smearing something is going to happen. But it's less than three months since the government took office. So why so soon? Uh, well, for for one thing, the the flood crisis has resulted in the cam uh, in the government losing quite a, mm -hmm. a little bit of popularity, and that may uh, a lot of in Thai political context when the a government lose uh, mm -hmm. popularity. Mm -hmm. One solution is to reach out the cabinet. Yes, but even from the beginning, you know, I took it that the cabinet under Kun Ying Lak will not be a permanent one. There will be a lot of changes because there are so many people that are demanding seats in the cabinet. And Kun Tak Sin with Kun Ying Lak will have to please a lot of factions. Yes, so, you know. That could be the reason why the, the two deputy ministers who, uh, uh, who have defended themselves, they are, they are, they are from the factions that Mm -hmm. they're, they're not from any fraction. They're not. They, any, they, yeah. They're just uh, on their own and they're mm -hmm. all alone. So these people usually are considered targets of the shuffle. 
okay. before the people who have a big factions mm -hmm. in, in in the party. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then another indication is uh, many people believe have to do with uh, Foreign Minister Sulapong. So, uh, who has put his neck on the line again uh, well, he on the passport. Not, you think he would lose his seat? No, I don't think well, so. Uh, I think he would get promoted. Uh, some, some, some link his uh, uh, coming out of the blue on the passport issue as uh, he trying to uh, tell Pun Thaksin that, hey, <laughs> look at me, I'm, I'm doing something for you. So, yeah. Right. So the cabinet reshuffle will happen maybe sooner than you think or maybe later than you think depending on where you are from.